Google Cloud Platform provides a service called DataProc. This is a fully managed service to run your Hadoop or Spark jobs. Hadoop, Spark and other open source tools as part of Hadoop ecosystem are used widely for data processing. Today, we are going to understand more about DataProc. Hello and welcome to Architecture Simplified. Every week, we share daily tips on certain service of Google Cloud Platform. And at the end of the week, we share a detailed video to cover all the pointers shared as part of the daily tips in the week. This week, we shared daily tips on DataProc using which you can run Hadoop and Spark jobs on cloud. Here are the daily tips shared on DataProc. And this is the detailed video on the same. Before we can understand about data proc, let's understand how and why Hadoop emerged. Because of the emergence of blogs, social media, videos, large data was generated. And this data was used for analytics purposes or to train machine learning models. But the raw data which we get for analysis or for training your machine learning models are not in the shape in which they can directly be used. So the first step is to make sure that the data is in the shape that can be used for analytics or ML purposes. The job of a data engineer is to provide useful and clean data to the data scientist so that they can use it for machine learning models or to data analytics for analytics purposes. When you have to process the data, you need storage capacity also to store the data and you need computing resources to process the data. When it comes to handle large amount of data, putting all the data on the same database server is not a great choice. So we needed many compute power to process the data so we needed a distributed storage and computing option. That's where Hadoop came into picture. Hadoop is an open source framework that provides distributed storage system and allows you to distribute processing of large data across clusters using MapReduce programming model. Hadoop has three main components. HDFS, which is Hadoop Distributed File System. This is where data is stored. It uses distributed file system design. Then you have MapReduce framework, which allows you to write applications to process the large data in parallel on different clusters. In 2004, Google published a white paper on MapReduce algorithm that divides the task into parts and assigns it to different computers to process. Hadoop uses same MapReduce algorithm to process the data. You have third component, which is YARD. It stands for Yet Another Resource Navigator. It was introduced in Hadoop 2.0. It separates resource management layer from the processing layer and manages the resources for data processing. This was a very high level overview of Hadoop components. Now let's understand some of the limitations of Hadoop which were addressed by Spark. In Hadoop, the map reduce which processes the data is slow. Also, Hadoop is not fit for streaming data processing. Then Spark came into picture which processes the data in memory and so it is 100 times faster compared to Hadoop and also handles both batch and streaming data. But it is expensive. There are few Hadoop limitations which are also addressed by Google Cloud DataProc. We will discuss them in detail. But let's first understand what is DataProc. DataProc is a managed and highly scalable service for running Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark and other Hadoop ecosystem tools on Google Cloud. There are many highlighted points in the definition of DataProc. 
Let's understand each one of it in detail. So first of all, it says that data proc is a managed service. What is the meaning of managed service? It means that the hardware update, software installation, their maintenance activities, all these things are taken care by Google Cloud. So you as a user don't have to worry about the hardware and software installation updates. If you have an Apache Hadoop application running on your data center, in that case, one of the biggest pain is operational overhead for maintaining the infrastructure. But in Dataproc, you don't have to worry about the operational aspects and you can start focusing on your application and its data and whatever insights you want to get from the data and not on the operational part. When you use tools of Apache ecosystem like Pig, Hive, etc., you need to update the version of the tools. But in Dataproc, that is also taken care by Google Cloud. The next point in Dataproc is it is highly scalable. Before we can understand why Dataproc is highly scalable, let's understand how clusters are created in Dataproc. You simply create clusters by specifying what computing options you want to spin up, for example, Compute Engine. Also, you can specify the machine type depending upon what your workload is. So, you can create the cluster in Dataproc in less than 90 seconds, which is awesome. At the same time, if you compare it with Hadoop, creating clusters used to take hours or sometimes days if you want to get more instances. Isn't Dataproc a fantastic option in that case? Because creating a cluster or spinning up more compute options is very easy and quick in Google Cloud, that's why Dataproc is highly scalable. You can have similar compute engine instances as part of your managed instance group also in your cluster. And we know that scaling through managed instance group is very fast. Even if you may have computing options of different machine types in the same cluster, still spinning up more computing options is very easy and quick in Google Cloud compared to Hadoop. Dataproc has built-in support for Hadoop and OSS tools, which are created on top of Hadoop ecosystem. That's why if you have an existing Hadoop application running on your data center, or if you want a fresh Hadoop application created on Google Cloud, you should go for Dataproc. If you have an application using Apache Hadoop or Apache Spark at your data center, you can start using Dataproc just by using Lift and Shift. You don't need to make any changes to your code. Isn't that awesome? Also, you can run jobs meant for different purposes in your application on different clusters instead of running all the jobs in a single cluster and maintaining the configuration of each job. Computing power and data storage are tied in Hadoop. When you move your Apache Hadoop application to Dataproc with lift and shift, you still are using HDFS for storage because Dataproc integrates well with Apache Hadoop and HDFS. Now, if you don't want to run any job on the clusters, you can shut it down so that you don't incur the cost. But the problem is that if you do so, your HDFS will also go down. So how to deal with this problem? If you see here, this is the data proc cluster, which contains your master nodes, your worker nodes and HDFS, which are connected. Now we have to find a solution so that if you shut down your cluster, your storage doesn't go away. So what you can do instead, you can start using cloud storage. Dataproc has built in cloud storage connectors with HDFS. These connectors help you to run Apache Hadoop or Spark job directly on the data stored in cloud storage. You can create multiple buckets which can be part of your cluster bucket. Unlike HDFS, even if you shut down your cluster, you still have your data accessed from cloud storage. Data stored in cloud storage is highly available and globally replicated without a loss of performance. So no storage management overhead. If you don't need cluster for running your application, 
You may shut it down so that you don't incur cost. Dataproc integrates well with other GCP services. So, Dataproc can read data from cloud storage or from BigQuery or other data lakes to process the data. Once the data is processed, it can be stored in cloud storage using HDFS connector or if you want to perform any analytics on the data, it can be sent to BigQuery using BigQuery connector. Or if you want to use HBase, you can store the process data in Bigtable using HBase connector. Apart from that, you can use Google Cloud Operations Suite for logging and monitoring purposes because that also integrates well with the Dataproc. So here is the summary of Dataproc. You can use Dataproc to run Hadoop or Spark jobs on Google Cloud with no operational overhead. You can create clusters in few clicks. It provides you highly available and scalable solution to run your jobs. Unlike Hadoop, you can separate storage and computing power in Dataproc. If you are using Hadoop ecosystem tools, then you don't need to upgrade them also. That is taken care by Dataproc automatically. You can run specific job on different clusters. You don't need to club different kinds of job running on the same cluster because Dataproc integrates well with other GCP services so you can create ETL pipeline starting with data ingestion to data processing and storing it for further analysis or machine learning purposes in Google Cloud itself. So that's it for today's video. If you want to get daily tips on any other service on GCP, you can comment below and I will share the pointers on that particular service and on the weekend, you will get a detailed video on the same. Alright, to see you in the next video.